I'm a model and dancer based in South Korea and currently I am pregnant so that's why I'm gonna share a lot of stuff that is related to pregnancy and maternity and first time moms <laughs> so make sure to subscribe to my channel and also visit my blog on my website which is aisha-ba.com today we are going or yeah, I am going to pack my hospital bag. I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant. There are a lot of lists that you can find online. A lot of them are very, very long. And some of them are like, no, most of them are super long. <laughs> but I tried to combine all of the lists with the stuff that I think that I will really need. I did our section for me, for the baby and for my husband. The section for me is also, again, divided in two sections, stuff that I need for the birth and stuff that I need for the stay in the hospital. I am giving birth in South Korea. Korean hospitals already provide a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to baby clothes. So that's why I'm not going to pack too much stuff. So let's start with the stuff that I need for myself during birth. The most important thing is that I'm gonna print out my birth plan. I haven't printed out yet, but I'm gonna do it. And I will also print out some affirmations about birth. I found them on unlimitedmama.com. I really like those cards. They are pretty cute. I trust this process. I am about to meet my baby. These contractions are strong, but I'm stronger and so on. I don't know if I will make an audio file about it and try to repeat those affirmations for me. Um, during birth or I will just uh, have those printed out and um, if I have time for it to just go over that. So let's start with the stuff that I've already packed. I chose uh, two pair of warm socks. <laughs> These socks are actually pretty funny because here in Korea usually ajumas wear them <laughs> but uh, I really like those socks. They are super warm and the, the good thing is also they are not so thick like other socks so usually I can wear them also with sneakers during delivery. I think it's gonna be good to have those because I also heard that it is very important to have warm feet and my feet are always cold <laughs> even in summer. Then I decided to pack some snacks and some uh, juices. Uh, I really don't drink a lot of juices, but maybe like I got them gifted from my hospital. <laughs> I will just bring those since I already have them. And uh, I know that there is gonna probably be a vending machine or a snack bar in the hospital, but um, since usually they always have muffins and other <laughs> sweet stuff, I really want to avoid that, so I just packed some nuts. It's mainly almonds, walnuts, and pistachio. I'm Italian, so I'm gonna say pistachio instead of pistachio or pistachio or how, how people say it. And also um, dates, just in case if I feel like I need some energy. It's also stuff that doesn't go bad, so I can already put it inside the luggage that's there and I'm gonna have it. If I need it, I can use it. If I don't need it, I just don't use it. I'm gonna bring it home again. Something that I always have in my luggage anyway, a uh, charger for my phone. I don't know yet if I'm allowed to use a speaker in the hospital, but I will just bring it in case. Uh, I will make a playlist about some songs that I really like. I also have some affirmation affirmation meditation playlists i would really like to use because i feel that this really calms me down i don't know how it will be during labor but you can always try right <laughs> another thing that i read that is very important let me check where it is a lip balm i will bring it because they say when you're breathing a lot your lips get very dry and i hate having dry lips because yeah i'm gonna lick them and then they're gonna be even drier and so on and so forth anyway it's gonna be here in my bag i'm gonna bring almond oil i hope that my husband will be able to give me a massage <laughs> so in order for him to be able to do it i brought this oil uh, I really like this almond oil. I use it for everything. I use it for my hair, for my body, to prevent my stretch marks. One elastic. Usually my hair is always tied up. Like right now, no, because I got ready for the video. <laughs> but usually my hair is all in a bun. So I'm pretty sure that 
I'm gonna have hair ties, especially because I always use two hair ties, but just in case if one will break or I don't know what will happen, because also I cannot use any other hair ties than these ones, all the others will break because I have so much hair. And one last thing that I'm gonna just pack just in case for birth, I saw that on so many YouTube videos, I don't know who actually started with it, but I'm gonna bring a comb because they say that if you are having pain just to i don't know i'm very bad at explaining this stuff but they say that this will help i don't know but if it helps i'm happy that i have this comb i only have this one i don't have any other combs so i'm gonna bring this one and i hope just it doesn't break but yeah let's see <laughs> that's about it for the birth so now for my hospital stay i'm gonna probably stay only one or two nights in my in the hospital i'm pretty sure that during delivery and also during the stay uh, i will be provided with clothes from the hospital but just in case if i don't like this clothes or even to take pictures i will bring this set of this launch set <laughs> which i got gifted from uh, store cube and uh, i really love this set because it has everything that uh, you need and it's i think perfect for your hospital stay it has like one very very comfortable pair of pants there is some underwear very comfortable very stretchy a nursing bra a shirt also nursing friendly with the buttons that you can open and cardigan or you know however you call it one other stuff that i kindly got gifted from the same brand store q is like a set for your first time with the baby but it's for me, not for the baby. It includes our soothing spray for the parts down there because it can be very hurtful at the beginning, I heard. And a sit bath and some nursing balm. Uh, since we are already talking about nursing, I also decided to bring a package of nipple shields i heard from my friends that they really help especially in the beginning when you're not used for used to nursing and also some nursing pads just some random stuff that i just need every day travel set of face cleanser pore pads uh, cleansing pads and serum and creams face creams face lotions and then i'm gonna bring of course like two toothbrushes and toothpaste these are all the toiletries that i'm gonna use i'm not gonna bring any shampoo conditioner or any other stuff because i'm pretty sure that i will not wash my hair there uh, i i don't wash my hair that often when you have curly hair you don't need to wash it you should not wash it too often very important i got gifted this from uh from bump suit the brand and this is a waist trainer uh, they said it's very comfortable to wear right after giving birth and so to get back your shape <laughs> i hope i will get back my shape from before it's gonna take some while though but um yeah i'm gonna start as soon as possible one nursing bra and uh, two nursing uh shirts like i, I got these from h&m some comfortable underwear even though i'm pretty sure that the uh, hospital would provide some niche underwear so that's pretty much it for the list for me now let's go to what i packed for the baby the hospital provides some blankets and stuff for the baby so some people don't even bring any baby clothes but i i think i'm gonna take some pictures for me and for my husband so i'm i want them to wear something cute <laughs> it's so cute it's so sweet. <laughs> I hope it's gonna fit her. I cannot imagine. Is she really that small? Yeah. <laughs> I read that at the beginning it's very important that you have something that you can close like this and not to um, put it over the head because, yeah, especially for first time parents, the little hat because babies always need to wear something on their head and also some small legging then i have a small sleeper which is also so cute i'm gonna bring this blanket <laughs> i made this blanket myself since we have a dog Sarami. 
Anyang, sarang na. <laughs> She's lying there. I informed myself a lot how you should behave with a dog and the newborn. So they said before going home, one should go inside first and give this baby blanket to the dog so they can already smell the smell of the baby, of the newcomer, of our pet. Other stuff that um, I prepared, it's like a car seat which uh, we already installed in the car. I'm not sure if I should bring a nursing pillow or not. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you think it's important to have. That's it for the stuff for the baby and for the daddy. <laughs> uh, not a lot of stuff. One outfit change. Very comfortable stuff for him. I know he likes wearing sweatpants and t-shirts. Just two one for sleeping and one for the next day two pair of socks i also and then of course his underwear his skincare and the toiletries like the toothpaste and stuff i already showed you maybe i should bring some shampoo for him i didn't think about that <laughs> because yeah um he actually has to wash his hair every day Okay, I'm gonna buy um, like a travel size shampoo for him as well. I, I didn't think about him. I'm sorry. So that's it actually what I packed for my hospital bag. Please check out also my blog because on my blog you will see the list that I packed and also you will see some links from the stuff that I have. That was it for this video. If you have any more questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to this video to see more stuff and to maybe see also the baby. Let's see. <laughs> see you next time.